Hey there, Cancer. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. Take what fits. Leave what doesn't. If none of this fits your situation, try a different message. We're going to use the Light Seer's Tarot to see what comes through for you today, Cancer. Let it be good. Let it be great. Let it be amazing. Please and thank you, Spirit. Oh, shit. Well, King of Pentacles in reverse. This could be a major loss in finances. Somebody could be losing their job. Okay, maybe somebody is not in a great space to be taking care of their children. Um, somebody's not being faithful, not being um, not being honest, not acting with integrity and honor. Somebody could be going behind your back. Let's see. We have the Ace of Cups. The Eight of Wands and Justice. Dang it. So this could be something that's going on with... I'm actually getting taxes. Oh, it is time for our quarterlies, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, by the time I post this, that would have been yesterday was the was the last day to pay that second round. If you had to pay back. And you're doing quarterly payments, as most businesses do. Let's see. If somebody was accusing you of something... Looks like the truth is coming out. And you know what? I don't even think it's you're accusing them of something. I think um, <laughs> somebody wasn't loyal. Somebody wasn't faithful. This is somebody you love so much. And you're hearing from multiple different people how this person is doing you wrong. It's like if your partner can't do you right, everybody else is about to do you justice. By telling you the truth, sending you pictures, uh, sending you screenshots. Like whatever it is that this person is doing that makes them not loyal, not faithful, not stable. For others of you though, you could be receiving something that you've been waiting for. And you're just paying a whole bunch of money. Okay, this could be a down payment. You get the yes, you get the go ahead, you get the communication. That you have the loan, you have the money, you have what it is that you need to move forward and it's actually doing you justice but it's gonna take a pretty fucking penny to do it right it's it's gonna be very costly it, your your pocket is going to take a hit or your bank account right is going to take a hit but this is a down payment on a house on a, a car on something maybe you're starting up a business even <clears throat> This could also be that somebody is no longer working and they get to retire. Pulling out that 401k, getting all that retirement started or wrapping it up even, getting the, uh, the notary, that signature, likely from somebody at the bank, right? Most people that work in a bank... Um, I think every bank has at least one notary in there. I actually know somebody, I'm not going to say who, but I know somebody very close to me that uh, does work at a bank and is a notary, and they will take their stuff to do the stamp and everything with them when they go travel on vacation just in case they need it while they're out and about. Isn't that wild? I did not know that that was a thing. So if you know somebody, they don't necessarily have to be at the bank on the clock in order to notarize something. They can do it off the clock. I do think they get to count that or add that somehow. I'm not 100%. Don't quote me on that part. But yeah, let's see. Let's see, because I've got a lot of different messages with this. This could be somebody that's getting cut out of the will uh, cut out of the family, you might be letting somebody go because you love yourself more than allowing yourself to be, you know, 
held back and continuously hurt and disrespected by somebody, right? You might have to go to court. You might have to go to court, get a couple signatures, you know, agree on how we move forward. But it would probably be without this person. I don't see, because this is somebody that's being disrespectful. Now, some of you guys really, really, really do not like the person you work for or somebody that is at your job just makes it absolutely miserable and you have successfully found a job somewhere else. You're signing the documents. You've already given your two weeks. If you gave two weeks, you may be out of there in like eight days. Or maybe this is something that's been ongoing for the last like eight weeks. Or the entirety of the situation is about eight weeks. Not for everybody, but for some of you, right? We have the Queen of Cups and the Tower. Yeah, it's like you intuitively knew this wasn't going to last forever. There's just something about it that makes you feel like this too is going to come to an end. This isn't going to work. This isn't going to last. <sighs> Justice, Queen of Cups, and the Tower. You're following your intuition. You're following your gut here. What feels right to you? And you might be really shocked. Some of you guys might be new to this. But yeah, it's like while you're you're meditating and connecting with the divine, Eight of Wands, Justice, Queen of Cups, even Ace of Cups, while you're connecting, likely in water, some of you guys might be playing with water. You might be in the shower, in the tub, at the beach, in the pool. I'm getting a lot of water here between the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Water will absolutely help you increase your intuition. I actually finally had breakthroughs with my intuition when I was in the tub. And now every time I play with water, I have these intuitive nudges. I just tunnel vision and go into it. So I'm almost like autopilot doing my dishes because the whole time I'm downloading information or making sense of things that didn't make sense before. Or if I'm cleaning out my fish tank, same thing, right? So um, I do feel like you're playing with water when this comes to you. But again, this could be text messages, like screenshots, pictures, people to, uh, that you really, really love and trust. They're trying to do you justice and bring you information that, yes, it's going to shock you that somebody's doing you wrong. Maybe they recorded this person talk shit about you. Maybe they took pictures of your partner out and about with other people, with somebody else holding their hand or, you know, talking bad about you, whatever. Like, you're going to be shocked, but at the same time, you kind of already thought this was happening. Like, you know, I kind of thought it was, but I didn't want to say anything because I didn't have the proof. And the divine was like, oh, it's proof that you want? Okay. And then the proof comes in. So let's see where this goes. Yeah, Queen of Swords. Somebody is watching this person be unfaithful, unloyal, disrespectful. Or this is something that you took a long time to plan something out here. And it's like all of a sudden, boom, here it is. You get your yes. It comes early. For some of you, that's why you're surprised. That's why it's a little bit unexpected because you were not expecting it this soon. The Eight of Wands talks about really fast, really fast. I mean, like catapult fast energy, slingshot, um, bow and arrow. Those arrows are silent and they're fast, right? Could be dealing with some Sagittarius energy. They are the archer of the tarot, just because I mentioned that just now. Actually, the Eight of Wands is Sagittarius. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. We do have Scorpio, Scorpio, Libra, Libra, Taurus as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Aces and Pages are all of that suit, so water signs. But yeah, this could be you sitting down thinking very long and hard because this is going to hurt your pocket. This is a good chunk of your money, but it's something that you want. It's something that's going to help you move forward. It's, it's going to do you justice. Intuitively, you feel it, and the tower is talking about something has to go in order for you to move forward. So, yeah, it could be a good chunk of your money that you're spending. That, that might be what has to go. Or maybe you're just shocked 
you're either shocked at how much this is costing or how fast this is moving. And for others of you, you're shocked at how unfaithful, unloyal your person is. Your intuition was telling you all this was going to happen, but you're still shocked because it's like, no, that can't be. Either it's too good to be true, what you were intuitively feeling, you're like, no, that can't be right. Or it was something that in your heart of hearts you didn't want to believe, you know, like your person doing you wrong behind your back. Nobody wants to believe that um, until you do, until the proof is right in front of you and it's like, wow, that's so unfortunate and disgusting and really just a number of things that are not good. But um, you needed to know this. Right? Because being connected to somebody like that is going to hurt you karmically. You're going to take on their karma. And, you know, it's the same reason the person that hurts you is not the person that gets to help you heal. It doesn't work like that, right? So, oi, let's see. Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. So you could be losing somebody you love dearly. Or some of you guys are in this space of... I need to get somewhere, and that's what's happening here. You're getting somewhere, somewhere that you were not before, something that it's like a position in your life you want to be at, but you're not yet there, and I think you're going to be there a lot quicker than you realize, or like I said, this is somebody who's getting kicked out of your life. We have here the Nine of Cups. Ooh, you're going to realize how happy you are moving forward, though. And how fast you're moving forward. It's like, oh my gosh, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Get me out of here, get me out of here. Andale, andale, yeeha, right? <laughs> andale, andale, yeeha. Yeah, this is moving really, really fast. We do have 789 so far. Five, seven, eight, nine, eleven. What else do we get for cancer? Please and thank you. Yeah. So that little jerk trying to get his claws on you, trying to keep strings on you, trying to attach to your energy. That's the karma I was just talking about, doing yourself justice by cutting that negativity out of your life. And that goes for both situations. The negativity could be somebody that's just not for you, that's being cut out of your life, or the negativity is the sadness, the loss, the despair, the depression of not being where you want to be in your life. And you're moving out of that and you're finally getting to where you want to be. And again, cutting out the negativity. What else do we have for cancer? Please and thank you. Knight of Cups. Yeah, you might be feeling a little bit rough around the edges, but uh, you'll be all right. You got, You really do got this. Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, you could have a child in this situation here, all right? So you might end up having to go to court for custody, child support, things of that nature. I see you getting everything. Um, I'm not even sure if you have to do shared custody. If you do, there are a few ways that you can be cautious about it, like have somebody with you. When you do the transfers, the pickups and the drop-offs, do them in a public space. Um, and again, have somebody with you recording at all times. Um, you know, just be thorough and don't let them have any kind of small talk. If it's not about the child or the children, don't fucking talk to me about it, right? But this is also that player-player energy, so it, it could be, you know... The person you were with is actually a karmic player and they tried to play you. But your intuition picked up on the fact that they were going to try to play you. And your justice, your karma is so good that 
You know, they just, they tried the wrong one. You cannot do shit like this to God's people. You know, and sooner or later, somebody eventually out there is going to learn. Until then, they can just keep basically swinging at you and punching themselves in the face instead. Because that's exactly how this works. If they don't want to get it, fine. Let them keep punching themselves in the face. You know what I mean? Because their swings are beneath you. They cannot actually touch you. Can they affect you emotionally? Yeah. Yeah, they can hurt you like that. But can you say, you know what? I've already been hurt like that before. I'm not even going to cry because you did it. I'm just going to be disappointed in you. Because I see something in you that you choose to not live out. You don't see yourself. And honestly, that's what's the saddest thing. That's what upsets me the most about this. Is that somebody with so much potential is just going to let it go down the drain. All because they want to one-up somebody else. Which is exactly why they're not going to get the, you know, the accomplishments that they're looking for in life. Because they don't deserve it. You know, if you can't see that goodness for other people, how the hell are you supposed to see it for yourself? And that's what it is. It's a reflection of themselves. If they don't love themselves, then they don't have that love to give to you, you know? People can only love the people around them as much as they love themselves. So it's a reflection of them. That five of pentacles. And they're trying to like push it off onto you. And it's not you. <clears throat> yep, Knight of Pentacles. Not even surprised. You're moving on without this person. And you're just spreading blessings wherever you go. Pray for this stupid asshole. For real, pray for them. Because the divine is going to rip them a whole new one. I think that's where you're at right now, Cancer. You're like, you know what, I'm not even too upset that they did this because I've been here before. I'm just really, really disappointed in this person. Now, for others of you where this is you manifesting something that's going to cost a lot of money, something that you've been without, you are jumping for joy when this news comes in. You're cutting out that negative bullshit, that negative emotion of I'm never going to this crap. You're cutting this out. Okay, no longer in that energy. This is coming through to break it up, to split it up and let it just kind of disintegrate because you are moving forward. And yes, there could be payments along the way. Again, there's that vehicle or you're moving. So it could be a new house, could even be a vacation. But you've been planning this. You've been planning this. You've been wanting this. And it looks like it's, it's finally happening. Some of you guys are your own knight in shining armor. You made this happen. Nobody else you did. This is absolutely beautiful for those of you guys that are resonating on that side. Um, for those of you guys that are dealing with somebody that did you wrong. Excuse me. You're still moving forward. You're still moving forward. And you're not even letting this affect you like it has in the past when other people did it to you. Because, well, you've already been here. You know what I mean? And that's not necessarily a good thing. But at the same time, you're not letting that defeat you. Okay, so we have Taurus, Libra, Libra, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Virgo on the board. I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, like, share, subscribe, and as always, stay beautiful.